Hello guys, okay this is part 2 of my uh, tutorial on um, shading using spray cans. Now part 1 was the uh, first coat. Okay, now I'm removing the mask. Alright, so basically the area that um, I masked okay was not painted black okay that's why you see that this area over here it's white and look at that that's the beauty of the uh, masking so alright you just peel it off you don't have to worry because um, it doesn't leave any residue so I'm just peeling this off and uh, next step would be to mask the uh, area that has the black part so just gonna pause this again alright guys I'm back I've uh, finished masking the uh, black area so basically um, step two is to do a reverse masking uh, what I mean about uh, what I mean by that you basically mask the area that um, was coated with paint okay or in this case the black which um, I intend uh, for it to be the shadow so we're gonna take this out again and we're gonna spray the light color okay guys uh, I'm back and uh, this time we're gonna be spraying flat white all right so again just get the can shake it and spray 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 um, I would suggest that you give it a thick coat okay you give it a thick coat why because once you remove the mask from the final layer you're gonna give it one uh, thin coat of the same color in this case white okay to even the paint right there you go so yep. there you go all right let it dry for a few minutes and I'll take it all right I'm back inside and uh, time to remove the mask okay just remove it right. now as you're removing the mask you would see that um, the paint is not even okay but you don't have to worry that's why there's one last coat of paint all right let me just remove this here oh okay uh, we've removed the uh, mask and uh, you see the two layers there's a layer of white and layer of black okay last thing that we need to do it's apply another layer of white okay to achieve the shadowing effect so I'm gonna take it outside again okay and show you that okay we're outside and let's just spray one last coat now a while ago you saw that I've sprayed a lot this time it's just to cover out the black okay just thin coats thin coats okay so 
Just thin coats. Just thin coats. Alright. Just make it even. Alright, there's one. Thin coats. Thin coats. Thin coats. There you go. All right. So let's check it out. You'll see the shadow. Okay. Now. The only reason why the shadow is not um, perfect is because the masking I did sucked. Okay, um, I didn't do the masking perfectly, so like the black shadow on the uh, um, TVA isn't that good. But again, I'm just doing this just as as an example last thing you do top coat okay spray some top coat on the part to even out the surface okay and there you go shading done through spray cans so I'm just gonna pause this and final words. All right, guys, I'm back inside, and um, there you go. Um, that's how you can achieve shading using spray cans. Okay. Now, as I've mentioned, this spoon it's not uh, perfect, but you, you you get the idea. You see the shade. Okay, you see a shadow on the uh, the letters the, the, of the uh, of my initial TVA. Okay, now if you want to do this again, it just involves a lot of patience, especially when it comes to masking the area. Okay, um, I didn't really do a lot of. Uh, wasn't being being too particular, especially with this uh, masking sole. Um, you can always use this. Use a fine tip brush. Make sure that uh, the area that you're masking are well masked. Okay. Uh, if you can, s you notice the shadow. Um, it's not perfectly. Uh, it's not a perfect circle where, where uh, what it should be uh, That's because the masking was done uh, poorly, but again, that's just uh, Showing you guys that it can be done using spray cans um, Just have a lot of patience and basically practice with uh, spoons Okay, see see the difference here Right, this is the normal spoon and this is the one with the shading. So, there you go guys. I hope that helps. Christian, this one's for you. And uh, more power. This is the Virgin Angel, signing out. Bye.